Hi everyone, it's Ella from Online Combat Battalion with another Armour 3 Editor tutorial for you. This one's in response to a question from USMC Veteran 9723 who asks about having AI go prone when you need them to go prone and in addition to that having uh, captives be invincible that can't be taken out by fire from friendly or enemy troops. So firstly I'll show you a set of modules that uh, I think a lot of people overlook. Uh, when they're making missions they're actually quite good and there's a lot you can do with them if you play around with them a fair bit so I've placed a playable unit and I'm going to place uh, an assault team and I'm just going to have them face this way uh, if you're not aware you can press the uh, left shift and then left click and drag them around like this Okay, with these guys, I'm going to set them, and you can set them any way you like, but I'm going to set them to forced hold fire and safe. I'm going to set their speed mode to limited, and I'm going to put them in a column. There we go. Okay, so I want these AI to walk to this area here roughly and go prone when they hit that area. So we're going to go up to systems, down to object modifiers, and then down to set mode okay so we're just going to place that set mode module down there if we open up set mode by uh, double left clicking we can see we've got a bunch of modes here which we can use to modify the ai behavior one of those third from the bottom is stance and if i select go prone uh, i can now set up these guys to go prone with this module. So there's a couple of things I need. Firstly, I need to highlight all these guys by left clicking and dragging over them, right clicking, connect and sync to this module. Second thing is I obviously want these guys to move through the trigger. So I'm just gonna give them a waypoint by holding down left shift, right click. And that's just a move waypoint. And remember I've set them to speed mode limited. So they'll be walking. Now, to activate this module, I don't want these guys to go prone straight away because at the moment, because they're synced to that module that gets them to go prone, uh, they would go prone immediately. But I don't want them to go prone straight away. So I'm going to set up a trigger. I'm just going to grab the uh, 10 by 10 by 10. I'm going to move it around. I'm going to spread it out a little and make sure that the move point waypoint goes through the trigger so I know that they're going to enter it. Now inside this trigger, I'm just going to double left click and I'm going to set the activation type as blue for present because these guys are blue for and once they're inside this trigger, this module will activate. But the last thing I need to do is right click the trigger, connect, sync to the module. So now when these guys start walking forward, when they hit this trigger, it will activate this module and they will all go prone. Let me show you how that works. So here's my AI squad patrolling along in safe mode at limited speed. And they've hit the trigger and now they have all gone prone, which is kind of cool. Now that AI squad will stay prone unless I change them in some way. So I'm going to go and use another set mode. And this time, I'm going to highlight them all, right click, go to connect, sync to this second module. Uh, I'm just going to copy that trigger and paste it to here. Okay, so that's still a trigger that is activation type blue for present. And inside this module, I'm going to say, um, open fire if they need to formation change i'm going to get them to go into a uh, wedge i'm going to get their speed mode to full um, i'm going to leave them at oh, change them to aware change their stance to stand up and let's see how that works we've got to of course sync this trigger to this module for that to work and I might just give them another move waypoint. I'll get this guy out of the way for now. So that we can see once these guys have gone prone uh, and they're moving along at prone a little bit, once they get into this trigger, 
then this set mode module will activate. Let's see how they work. Okay, here we are, we've got these guys. I'm gonna speed it up just a little. And now they've gone prone. And once they reach the second trigger, their combat mode, their speed, and their stance will change. So there we go, we've got them now up and running and on their way. Okay, about having captives now. I'm not sure what sort of captives uh, uh, you're referring to when you ask the question, but I've got this guy as just a civilian. And if I've double left clicked on him, I can go down to his special states, object special states, and make hostage. So he's now sitting on the ground and I'm then able to use a, a hold action to rescue him. Okay, I've also set, if you don't want this guy to be uh, damaged at all, you can just untick enable damage. So this guy will be pretty much invincible after being captured or rescued, I'm sorry. So here's my captive, and obviously in your scenario, you might want to put him inside a building or that sort of thing. And I'm going to release him. So he's now no longer a captive. And because I've set him as set damage false, he can't be damaged. Now, if we want this hostage to join our group after he's been released from captivity, that's uh, pretty simple to do as well. I've prepared a trigger over here, and I'm just going to open up the trigger by double left clicking. And in here, I have any player present. And in the on activation section, I have hostage in square brackets, join player, semicolon, hostage, enable AI move, hostage set captive, false. Okay, and for that to work, I have given the hostage the variable name of hostage, which is referenced in the line of code that's inside the trigger. Uh, what I might do is set a delay of, let's say, let's go nine seconds, because that's roughly what it takes to release this guy from captivity. And I'm going to place this over where he is so that any player that enters that trigger, and you're going to have to do that to release him, uh, will then fire the trigger and he'll be released and in your group. So here's my hostage. I'm going to release him. And about the same time as he's no longer a captive, he will also join my group. join group. There we go. So this guy has now joined my group. And I can tell him to move. move I can tell him to get into places. Uh, I can tell him to come back to me. Now just keep in mind doing this with this little line of code. Uh, he will join the group of the first player that enters that trigger. All right, uh, no one else, only the first player that enters that trigger. By the way, having this uh, ability to release the hostage in this way, I'm just going to get this guy to stop, uh, requires the use of Eden Enhanced, which is a modification on the workshop. And honestly, if you're not, if you're making missions and you're not using Eden Enhanced, then uh, you need to. While I'm here, and this might be uh, helpful. Uh, is to show you another uh, object modifier which is set AI mode okay so I've got set AI mode here and here are four uh, bad guys so at the moment if I was to start this mission they will immediately start firing at me which is not ideal uh, this could be good for a scenario where you're patrolling through a town and you have some bad guys that are present, but they're not firing at you because um, they're not in a position to do so or they haven't decided to act yet. 
those sorts of things. You can use your imagination. So I'm going to go into the set AI mode. I'm going to set the target to disabled, auto target to disabled, move disabled, uh, animation no change, and execution of AI scripts. I'm not going to be using any of that. So I'm going to sync all of these guys to that set AI mode and then I'm going to get them to surround my captive as if they are guarding him and just to make it look a bit fancier I'm just going to go into each of them and set them as safe uh, and limited uh, safe because if they're, they're not set to safe, then their, their weapons will be raised and that uh, doesn't look great for people who are guarding. So I just set all of them to safe. Now I'll test this out. So what should happen is they'll see me being their enemy uh, and they won't fire on me. So let's see how that works. So I'm in the mission and uh, <laughs> they've all gone prone. But you can see that they're not targeting me, they're not pointing their weapons at me, they're not firing at me, they're not moving, and they will let me walk in here and grab this guy. You could probably set uh, another object modifier to ensure that they uh, stay upright and they don't go prone like that. Uh, but in this scenario, I could just simply walk out of here with my released hostage and all those guys can light. Same scenario again, but I've just used a set mode to ensure that they all stay standing and they don't go prone. You could also set them to careless. That way they won't uh, raise their weapons at all. So everyone, that's uh, about it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you've uh, gotten a little bit out of this and uh, have a bit of a play around with the set mode or object modifiers to play with the various things in there. You can use uh, show hide or you can set uh, vehicle fuel damage. You can set the skill of AI, their rank, position rotation. Um, and we've used set mode and uh, set AI mode. You can also set the ammo amount that's held by AI as well as uh, character damage. You can actually uh, set them to be damaged. So have a play around with those and see how they work. Uh, if you have any questions, hit us up in the comments section below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like and uh, share if you've got something out of this. Be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and I'll see you in the next video.